Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, back again from Nashville, Tennessee. As you can see, I've got try number two as a new folder here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click play selected world. And welcome to Super Hostile, whatever, Nightmare Realm. Okay, last time, the bed placement somehow was obstructed, which I thought was there were blocks around it, but upon reviewing the footage, I realized that there was an explosion where somehow lava came through the ceiling and blew up the bed. It was just in the corner of my eye. There we go. It was in the corner of my eye when the video came through. I was like, huh, was there an explosion? I don't know what I heard. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow. Well, on the plus side, all this TNT might be useful later. Um, although, I gotta be cautious about not setting off the trap. So, I should probably also just make an actual axe at this point, so I can do this more quickly. Um, yeah, my last time, that is not how you make a crafting table. Um, now my shift key is stuck the other way. Okay, here we go. Wooden planks, crafting table. You know, I was really excited going into this level, because, um... It's been a crazy awesome day. Like, you want to know what I did today? Things I did today included signing up for a big wheel race. A relay race in particular. So me and my friends, uh, three of my friends, are going to be in a relay race in giant tricycles in downtown Nashville in three weeks. That's one of the coolest things you could possibly do with your friends. And I was just like, oh man, this day can't possibly get any better. And then Super Hostile Number 8 Nightmare Realm came out. And I was like, well, that's pretty cool, too. You know? It's nice when fun things happen. Um, so, I'm wondering if I should try moving the bed. I, I feel like I should probably move the bed and plant it somewhere so that if I die, I don't, um, you know, go to the game over zone again. Because unlike every other super hostile map ever, you can't die in this one and come back and keep going. You just die. Which sucks. Okay. So anyway, this big wheel thing is uh, sponsored by one of the local breweries in town that I really appreciate uh, their beers in general. Uh, the Yazoo folks. Who unfortunately do not sponsor things. Because I was like, oh, Yazoo would be the best sponsor for this show ever. Because I love their products and consume them regularly. But no. They, they don't, they've got a, a little notice on their website. Hey! We're not looking for people who need sponsorships, so, uh, go away. So I did. Okay, so I feel like I've got a pretty good grasp of the shape of this trap now. Let's go ahead and get up here and... Whoops. This, uh, single jump thing is killing me. Stupid 1-9 rules. Okay, can we disable all the TNT from just being alert here? Now I'm starting to worry that spiders will spawn up here, but... Okay. So then the next question is, what's up here? A ghast. Well, that's not the worst thing. It's not a good thing. So we've got... Okay, there's a block up there. That must... That must be... I saw lava falling out of the corner of my eye. So I'm thinking that that, act, that right there is the where the lava's going to fall from. You see that's lit up? So anyway, whatever it is, it's some sort of timer. We don't have a lot of time. I'm sitting here talking about big wheels when I need to be reclaiming TNT, reclaiming all this other stuff, and then running out of here. Um, so let's see. What am I going to need out in the world? I'm going to need a sword. I'm going to need a pick. Uh, I have no idea how much time I have left. At least, though... With the uh, TNT disabled, I'll only have to worry about a slow death by lava rather than a quick death by dying directly. Okay. So, I, I didn't see any food in any direction uh, earlier, uh, which is bad. Because um, that means that I don't have a clear choice of a direction that I definitely want to go in. I do know that if this whole area is about to be blown up by lava, though, I want to claim as many of these torches as I can. Uh, and get out of here as quick as I can. And I just wasted an axe on that, didn't I? Dang it. Uh, oh well. What I might be able to do is to dig out a shelter underneath here. 
Well, I'm gonna need these signs. Goodbye, bitches, son. Um, take as much of this as I can. It's just like, at this point, I feel like I'm playing Supermarket Sweep. It's like, I'm I just grabbing this, grabbing th that. Uh, I have no idea how much time I have until that trap goes off. I mean, last time I walked around a good distance before uh, everything went crazy, but... Okay, I hear ghasts. Um, I'm thinking that the, uh, the Victory Monument may be a good place for me to get set up. If I can make it that far. Bones and arrows, that's nice to have. Of course, I don't want the stuff blowing me up at the Victory Monument. Because that means they're causing damage to the monument itself. Uh, which is not good. Um, dang it! Well, at least I can collect all this stuff. But... Okay, well, without a bow, I'm just... I, I can't hang out here for long. Um... So let's see, look, wh where are the paths down? Oh wait, they can blow up the netherrack. This is gonna be problematic. Um... We need to find the quickest path down and then take it. It's clearly getting out of this island is is the smartest thing we can do at this point. I need to build a bed somewhere. Oh no, that was almost very bad. Uh, okay, so I know up there is where the uh, torch things are. Um, come on, give me a stairwell, people. I feel like that Nia fella from the Matrix. Oh no, everything's too dark. I need li Oh, there's lots. It's like, I need an exit fast. Come on, where does this connect? Ugh, gotta be something. Dang it, really? Is there no way down from here that just works? Like, is there not like a ribbon? Like, this all looks like it connects, and then it clearly doesn't somehow? What's up with that? Dang it, ghasts. Y'all are not helping. This is, uh... Just a series of problems that is not going away. Oh, game over. Okay. Trying this again. Save and quit the title. Let's open up some folders and uh, let's uh, copy over some, uh, some files. Super hostile number eight. Open and closing folder there. Pull up a uh, Minecraft maps saves. This is literally what I gotta do every time I die. Try number three. Copy this over. And wait for it. Now we're done. Look at this. This is just, this is torture, bitches. This is legitimately torture. Oh, do I have to quit the game to load? Oh, there's, there it is. Okay. Okay. So, new plan. There's clearly no direction in which I can... Uh, okay. There's clearly, there's no obvious direction in which I can run. Um, there's gonna be problems no matter where I go. Maybe what I need to do is just dig down beneath me here, inside of the shelter of this area. Like, uh, dig through the nether rack and see if I find anything down below. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, punch some of this lumber or timber here. Because that's going to be the highest density block we can get for our bang, right? Or highest density bang we can get for our book right now. Because you know what? If there's going to be a lava flow that falls on this house, I'm going to have to abandon it either way. It doesn't make sense to steal all the TNT. Because I don't know that I can use the TNT for anything anyway. Um, at least if I get enough of this netherrack out uh, as well, I might be able to build some sort of actual structure somewhere. Um... So let's go at this again. Okay. Building this. I'm just constantly racing against the clock now because Vitches is a mean, mean fella. Why did I make a sign? I'm so stressed out, Vitches. You are just driving me crazy. Okay, so now I have an axe. 
And I can harvest the wood more quickly. Get out of here before all this blows up and smoke and timber and explosions and lava. I feel like I'm that Bill Murray fella uh, playing that weatherman in his famous film Groundhog Day. Where every day I just die and then I wake up and then I die again. And uh, I, it's because some trickster god has tormented me. or Well, I don't know. Maybe that's not how it goes. I, I don't know what to do with all these buckets, but I don't want to leave them here if I know this building's going to blow up. Um, okay, so wood. We, we Let's just get some more wood and build some more tools. Um, let's see. No, oh, I turned all the planks into sticks. Dang it. We are going to make it through this, people. We are going to make it through this. I promise. It's just going to be incredibly tough, and I'm going to scream a lot. Normally, I would edit out all this stuff where I'm doing stuff at the crafting bench or whatnot. But this is legitimately, like, uh, frightening. And, like, I know time is against me. Okay, so what I'm thinking in this one is that I might just try digging down here and getting out somehow. Uh, oh, there's TNT all throughout the structure as well. Well, that does not bode well for me. I'll tell you that. Okay, so this entire area is full of TNT. Um, wow, that does not increase my odds of survival. And there's a redstone torch. Did I just set everything off, maybe? By breaking a chain? No, I have not broken the chain. But the chain goes up through here to there. Okay, now I'm worried. If I'm gonna kill ever kill myself by doing this. Nope. Okay. Well, huh? Whatever. Anyway, so I'm still incredibly frightened all the time. Vitch, is you you are doing a good job on that count. Okay, put some of this nether rack there. Um, let's grab some more of these torches, because this whole place is going to be gone anyway. We don't need it well lit. Everything's going away. Torches, everything must go. Okay, that that's a good first pass. I got the bed with me this time. Uh... I'm worried about spending too much time on all this, because if everything blows up, then I will be super frustrated that I wasted time on any of this. And I'm just hurting my pants. Wonderful. Okay. So, do I have the crafting table with me? No. Ugh. Screw it. We're just going to recover some more timber. And we are getting out of here. We are just going to tunnel like crazy and hopefully get outside of the realm of the explosion. Like, I I don't know how far away that's going to be, but if by the end of this we have enough blocks to build ourselves a shelter and we survive the blast, then that will be a win. Okay, so this is another little alcove down here. I know we're, uh, in da I'm endangering uh, myself by not closing this, so let me just do that real quick. Um, and once I run out of pick, I'll go ahead and make another crafting table, and we will uh, try to move forward. I was not expecting this to be this stressful. I was like, I'm having a great, awesome day. I'm making, uh, I'm going to be in this... Uh, race with, uh, you know, big wheels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. So, shift button engaged. So we got no good way to get down there. That seems to be a recurring theme, is no matter where we want to go, we don't have a good way to get down to it. But what we can do is at least increase our chances of getting away from the blast by coming out here. Whoops. Uh, 
Okay, so we got this entire, like, serpentine thing going on down here. Uh, I, I really wish there was a clear way to get down from anywhere to anywhere else, because it is driving me mad that I don't have such a path. Uh, oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep bridging our way out across this little gap here in hopes that we might escape whatever horrible blast is soon to visit our hut. I don't know if Vetch is in intended for us to dig out this way. It seems like he must have because otherwise he would not have put that lumber the way he did. I'm wondering if the blast strength of the uh, redstone uh, ore will help us to survive whatever happens. Well, that appears to be either sand or sandstone down there, so that might be useful. Um, let's see what else we can determine down here. Well, not much. Huh. What could we determine by looking out this way? Well, once again, not much. There's the bottom of them spike aspire things. I'm really worried we're not far enough away from that blast. Uh, I've been playing with TNT a little bit and using it to blow up clouds and whatnot in uh, some of my other maps, and uh, it can be quite the powerful force. So, let's... Uh... Well, we might be far enough to the point where we can actually safely... Uh, just build a bed and have it survive. That that might be my greatest hope here, is that I can just use this underneath area here as a shelter so that if I die in the future, I will be able to actually respawn. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, fill in some of this here. Just slowly building our way around. Um, I haven't heard anything explode yet. I think it must have been about nine minutes or so into the map, which indicates some sort of serious trigger delay uh, on Vetch's part. Usually his traps are a lot more immediate, but, uh, oh well. Um, I wish I had literally anything else to build with. But glowstone and netherrack have horrible resist blast resistance. Oh wow, well, let's see, I got a much better view of that whole chewed up area there. I really like how that disc looks there. Um, so let's go ahead and dig up a little bit here and uh, see what we can see in terms of... Well... So, we've got a high enough roof. And there it was. Let's go see what's left of our house. Oh, I should probably fill this up. So, there's lava coming down there. Uh, is this it? Yeah, okay. Whoa, yeah, there's lava about to come down upon us. So let's just go ahead and close all that up. Uh, well, oh, that's going to cause uh, possibly future blasts around things like uh, if there was any other TNT in these walls here. So let's, uh, let's verify that there is not. And then let's also just real quick uh, ensure that the lava is not going to burn through this wood and then enter our tunnel. Because if it were to do that, I would be very displeased. Uh-oh, I see a redstone torch there. And there's lava dripping down um, through all of these blocks here. So we are just we are just going to want to be uh, ahead, one step ahead of this and just block all this up, I think. I like that uh, Notch added that uh, dripping redstone, uh, or not dripping redstone, dripping lava uh, feature. So you can tell how when you're in danger of uh, just exposing yourself to a lava fall. That's pretty clever of him. 
But okay, so let's just grab as much of this timber as we can. It'd be always nice to have it. I am worried. Uh oh. So I saw some dripping lava there. Right there. Um, okay, so it's all starting to burn through here. So let's just go ahead and close all this off. Oh no! Whoa! That was almost incredibly precarious. And stupid. And. Okay, so there's them. Secondary charge is now lit because I think part of the house there burned off. So, um. Okay, let's just collect what we can. We are just salvaging anything that what we can salvage. I should probably not dig straight down ever. I know this. But. Any trees we can walk away with are good trees. Oh no, there's TNT right there. So, let's assume there's more TNT buried in here and go back here so we don't get another game over. And, uh, establish our little shelter. So we put down our bed, making sure it's not obstructed anyway, in any way. Um, actually that's probably better. And we're going to want to make sure this is super well lit. we got to wait for the sun to actually set before we can use the bed. But that's okay. Uh, all the fire and lava noises are going to constantly drive me mad in this map, I can tell already. So what we need to do now that we've established a small base, uh, or the beginnings of one is uh, I think I'm gonna continue to uh, actually go ahead and kinda wall this up. I know it's gonna hurt our excellent view, but uh, I want to establish uh, some, I wanna put down this and uh, get a chest in place so I can store some of these things that I've ac accumulated. So this way, if I were to die, we will not lose everything, which would be a great tragedy. Um, okay. Wow, I'm really not doing great in terms of materials or anything. Um, I figure at this point... Uh, okay, so we're going to put get another pick here. Another pick. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, make a door because what I'm going to want to do is establish some sort of exit from here out into the world. Okay, I can breathe a huge sigh of relief now that my... What was that? What? I was going to say, now that the bed is placed, everything will be fine forever because I don't have to worry about random explosions. Uh... Uh, 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 okay. So remember that TNT I was saying? Oh, I don't know how extensive that is. We should probably uh, steer clear of that or whatnot. Well, apparently it's this extensive. Apparently it goes out to here and then downward. Like so. Also, apparently there's something made out of brick over there, which I somehow missed the first time through. So I have, I am curious to find out what it is. Um, well, I'm thinking the best thing to do might be to make a stairwell up right here. Uh, can I... You know what? I haven't played 1-9 much. Can I make nether materials with just blocks of nether rack? Like, stairs or... No. Do I have to put it in a furnace or something, maybe? I don't know. Dang it. Well, that's a shame. Uh, well, either way, uh, I'm gonna harvest some of this nether rack and use it to develop a stairwell, which I will then use to climb up here. But, you know what? Now that we're out of immediate peril, I got one other thing I gotta do um, before I end this video and start my next one about my ascent. I need to say a special thanks to my sponsor for this video, Cryptic. I am like, when I've been playing games, I just cannot start typing. Salamander. 
who says, don't look down, Joe. Florp. Done. Anyway, so special thanks to Cryptic Salamander. And special thanks to everybody else who has contributed. Uh, your signs will be posted in future videos. And so until next time, y'all, this has been Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee, saying keep adventuring.